Hello all. Today in this video we are going to see an interesting topic. Okay, very easy topic. It is isolobal analogy. In the previous video itself, while solving borane, I have told you that isolobal analogy is very simple topic. So see first of all, what is isolobal? The term isolobal. See if two fragments are called isolobal if their frontier orbitals are same in number. Same symmetry, same energy and have same number of electrons on them. Okay. If you have frontier orbitals, we have seen this for frontier orbitals in pericyclic and all. If they are same in number, same symmetry, same energy and have same number of electrons, then it is known as isolobal. But for solving questions, it is very, very, very easier. Just count the number of electrons. That is enough. You no need to check these and all. If in the question they are asking about isolobal then just see the number of electrons for example that is why i have highlighted this point okay you just see this if it if both the fragments have same number of electrons then it is known as isolobal okay see for this this is an example okay this methyl is isolobal okay isolobal means we have to indicate by this symbol so in this case carbon have valence electron of four and three hydrogens one hydrogen has one valence electron three hydrogen means three so totally here seven electrons are there okay seven electrons see in this case cobalt so cobalt nine valence electron right d7 4s2 nine valence electron so nine plus one carbonyl can donate two electrons so four carbonyl means eight right so 17 electrons right 7 and 17 are isolable to each other why i am saying like this means see if suppose you are having 18 electrons in transition metal okay in transition metal then in main group that is s and p block 8 will be there like these two are isolable okay if suppose you are having transition metal uh, 18 electrons then it will be isolable with 8 electrons of main group similarly if you have 16 electron then it is isolable to 6 if you are having 15 electron then it will be isolable with 5 okay so this is a very easiest topic okay so don't leave this topic you will be very clear when we solve these questions right so first of all see here cobalt tetracarbonyl okay so already I have given this example. Cobalt has valence electron of 9. Okay. 9. And each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. And here 4 carbonyl are there. Hence 4 into 2 it is 8. Right. 9 plus 8 it is 17. Okay. Now 17 is isolable with 7. Right. 17 is isolable with 7. So you have to count the number of electrons. Uh, among these options okay now it is 4 plus 4 here it is 4 plus 3 here it is 4 plus 2 here it is 4 plus 1 so in a in which option you will get 7 electrons it is this right hence this is the option okay CO CO4 will be isolable with methyl group CH3 this is how you have to solve the question see it is very simple right very 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 easiest topic okay now among the following which is not isolable pairs they are asking okay not isolable see manganese will have in valence electron of 7 and this carbonyl 5 into 2 it is 10 right so 17 here it is 4 plus 3 so 17 7 these are isolable okay these are isolable but they are asking not isolable okay so see here in this example Ion will have an valence electron of 8 and carbonyl 4 carbonyl. 1 carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. 4 carbonyl means 8 electron. So 8 plus 8 it is 16. What is the valence electron of oxygen? 2s2, 2p4. So 6 electrons. This is also isolable. Okay. This is also isolable. So now see here in cobalt case it is 9 electron and in carbonyl it is 6. So it is 15 electrons. Okay. Now see here silicon will have silicon comes under carbon family right silicon comes under carbon family. So carbon have a valence electron of 4 means this will also have valence electron of 4. Alkyl 
uh, I think you know this concept, right? R, this R group will donate one electron, okay? So, R2 means two electrons, right? Alkyl group can donate one electron. Here, R2, hence it will donate two electrons. So, 2 plus 4, it is 6. But here, 9 plus 6, it is 15. 15 means here you have to get the answer as 5. Then only they will be isolable. But here, you are getting 6, right? These are not isolable, okay? Now, see in this case, sulfur have valence electron of 6 plus 1, it is 7. And here, it is 17. So, these two are also isolable. So, what will be the correct option for this question? They have asked not isolable pairs. So, option C will be the answer. Okay. Option C will be the answer. Now, see in this question, among the following, the correct statement is. So, it is very easy, right? You just do it on your own. This is 4 plus 1, which is isolable to here. There will be 9 because cobalt has 9 valence electron. Here it is 6, 3, 2 is a 6, okay? Because each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. Hence, 9 plus 6, it is 15. So, this is 5, this is 15, okay? 15 is isolable with 5. Hence, this will be the option, okay? This is the answer. But now, again, you have to check these options also. In this case, it is 4 plus 2. Here it is 4 plus 1. Here it is 4 plus 2, right? 6, 5, 6. Nickel. Nickel will have configuration of D8, 4S2, which means 10 electrons. 10 plus 4, it is 14. So, this is not isolable. Okay, this is not isolable. Similarly, in this case, ion will have 8 valence electron and 4 to the 8. So, here also 16. 16, here it is 5. These are also not isolable. This is 6, 4 plus 2, it is 6. Here it is 7 plus 8, it is 15. So, this is also not isolable. The only isolable species here are, here in this case it is 5 and here it is 15. Hence, these two will be isolable to each other. Okay. Hence, the option A is the correct answer. Now, see here. CPM. Okay. Fragment isolable with BH fragment. Cp is eta phi C phi H phi. So Cp is nothing but cyclopentadienyl anion. Okay. Cyclopentadienyl. Okay. This is a ligand they have given. So no need to uh, worry about this and all. So eta phi means phi electrons. In the previous video itself, I have told you that whenever you have eta power something that much electron. Okay. It contributes that much electron. So which means eta power phi means 5 electron. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, Cp is 5. You have find out that Cp is 5, right? Cp has 5 electrons. Now, B means boron will have 2s2, 2p1 configuration, which means 3 electrons, right? So, 3 electrons plus 1 hydrogen. So, it will have 4 electrons, right? BH fragment will have 4 electrons. So, if you want a fragment to be isolable with BH, then it should have 14 electrons, okay? Because 14 and 4 will be isolable, right? Here you are having 4. So, among these options, the one which gives 14 electrons will be the answer, okay? The one which gives 14 electrons will be the answer. See, in this case, Cp is 5, okay? Germanium comes under carbon group, right? Carbon group. So, Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, which means carbon will have 4 valence electron. It gives 9. Totally, it is 9. 9 is not isolable with 4. Hence, this is not the option. Okay, this is not the option. Now, see here in this case, it is cyclopentadienyl 5 plus manganese. Manganese will have a valence electron of 7. Okay, D5, 4S2. So, 5 plus 7, it is 12. 12 is not isolable with 4. So, this is not the right option. Now, see in this case, option C, it is Cp and Ru. Ruthenium comes under ion family, okay. So, cyclopentadiene is 5. Ruthenium, it is 8. Because ion will have a valence electron of 8. D6, 4S2 configuration. So, 5 plus 8, it is 13, okay. 13 is not isolable with 4. Hence, this is also not the option. Now, see the D option. 
cyclopentadienyl has 5 okay cobalt will have valence electron of 9 right cobalt will have valence electron of 9 9 plus 5 it is 14 14 is isolable with 4 right hence this is the correct option okay so for this question d is the right option because 5 plus 9 it is 14 they have asked you the question which among these is isolable with a BH fragment? BH has 4 and here it is 14. Hence, these two will be isolable. Okay. These two will be isolable. This is how you have to solve this question. Okay. Now, see the fifth question. Simple, right? So, according to isolable analogy, write set of fragments that might replace COCO3 in CO4, CO12. They are just confusing you, okay? According to isolable analogy, write set of fragments that might replace this, this fragment. You can replace this fragment by a set of fragments, okay? So, no need to see this, okay? No need to see this and all, okay? This is a cluster, metal cluster, but you are going to replace this fragment only. You are going to replace this fragment. So, you should see this. How many electrons are present? Cobalt will have nine. Okay, cobalt will have 9 and each carbonyl can donate 2 electrons. So, 3 into 2 it is 6, right? 9 plus 6 it is 15, okay? 15. So, in the transition element cobalt you are having 15 valence electron which means in the main group you should have 5, right? 5 and 15 are isolable. 15 and 5 are isolable. So, among these options, you have to find out which will be the correct fragment that can replace this, okay? Carbon 4 plus 1, it is 5, okay? Of course, this is isolable. But a set of fragments, see here, in this case, it is 3 plus 1, 4. 5 and 4 are not isolable. Hence, this is not the option, okay? Because they have set of fragments. All these should have 5 or 15, okay? All these three should have 5 or 15. Then only it should be isolable with this group. Okay. So, this is not the option. Now, see in this case, ion will have a valence electron of 8. Okay. Ion will have valence electron of 8. Now, cobalt, sorry, carbonyl. 4 carbonyl. So, 8 plus 8, it is 16. Definitely, 16 will not be isolable with 15. Right. Hence, this is not the option. See in this case option C, Pasperus. What is the valence electron of Pasperus? It comes under nitrogen family, right? So, nitrogen means 2s2, 2p3 configuration. So, 2s2, 2p3 means 5 electrons. Hence, Pasperus will have 5 valence electron. Okay, this is isolable. Now, in this case it is 4 plus 1, right? Carbon will have 4 valence electron and hydrogen 1. So, this is also 5, right? This is also 5. Okay. Now, see this option. Nickel will have 10 valence electron. D8, 4s2 configuration. 10 plus eta power 5 means 5. This is also 15. So, these are all isolable. Okay. 5, 15, 15. In the question also, the fragment has 15 valence electron. So, you can replace this fragment COCO3 by either Pasperus CH or nickel eta 5 C5H5. Okay. So, this is the right option. Anyway, we will check these also. It is 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. 4 valence electron is not isolable with 15. Hence, option C is the right answer. Okay. Option C is the right answer. Now, in these two questions are very simple. See, this question is for you. Okay, this question is for you. I am not going to solve this question. Uh, you just comment your answer in the comment section. You try to solve this question. It is very simple. An organic organometallic compound that is isolable to CH3 plus. Okay, CH3 pluses. First of all, you have to find out the valence electron of the CH3 plus. Okay, then after finding out, you have to uh, find out which is isolable with the this CH3 plus. Okay, among these options which will be isolable with the CH3 plus, okay? So, you just share your answer. I will check whether it is correct or not, okay? So, it is for you, okay? 
now i am going to solve this question because uh, comparing this it is little difficult right so i can solve this question you just solve this see in this case it is a uh, ion ion will have a valence electron of 8 okay now carbonyl co twice so it is 4 okay pph3 will donate two electrons and minus means plus 1 okay minus means plus 1 So eight plus four it is twelve plus three it is fifteen. Okay, fifteen. So fifteen will be isolable with five, right? See in this case it is four plus two. Six minus one it is five. Okay, it is five. And four plus one plus one this is six. So this is not option. Here four plus three this is not option. Here four plus one. This is also correct. This is also correct. Okay. This is also right. This is also right. But uh, in the option they have given two right options in this year two thousand nineteen. They have given two options. C H also five electrons and C H two plus will also have five electrons. Both will be isolable with this fragment. Okay. Both will be isolable with this given compound. So both the options are correct. Okay. A and B. so i hope this video will be helpful for you isolable analogy is very simple topic don't leave this chapter it is a very simple one but you can easily score marks okay don't leave these kind of topics like borane metal clusters isolable analogy these are all very simple and uh, you can score marks right so you just try to uh, comment your answer in the comment section for the sixth question okay if you find this video helpful then kindly share with your friends uh, stay tuned thank you so much for watching